Rose to welcome back to my channel. This is Christine and it is April 1st and I'm getting ready to embark on a new month with a new project. So as those of you that voted on my post, I did a, a post uh, maybe a week ago having you guys choose my next whip out of four of the most popular ones that I had on Instagram last year. So uh, I had actually posted the results and this one won with 20 votes 21 no maybe 21 votes and uh, second place was sweetheart's gate so as promised i will work on this one in april and i just wanted to show you where i'm starting the month off at with it so let's just open it up and see A string hanging on the back there. Okay. Let's make sure we're in frame. Yes, we are. So as you can see, this is where I ended up the last time I worked on it, which was, I believe it was a year ago uh, for Stitch Mania. I had pulled it out and worked a little bit on it. So this is where we're at to start the month. And I was thinking, gee, I'm probably... You know maybe could possibly get it done but then I was looking at the chart and I actually have more than half still left to do so I don't know if I'll be able to get it done this month but we'll see actually I think if I do get it done I may just very well treat myself with a new start so we'll see so this is going to be my main focus project the one that I work on the most um, but I do have two sort of side projects that, I, that I'm also going to keep up with. One of them is this little one here. This is called Bloomtopia. And it is a free project offered by the Fat Quarter Shop. And you can get it on the Fat Quarter Shop uh, blog, I believe, is, the, is where you get it. Um, it is the proceeds for this is they are asking that you do I mean, even though it is free, they're asking that you... Um, donate to the Make-A-Wish Foundation if you do download this pattern. Um, it's not required, but I think they're kind of saying it, you know, kind of hoping everybody will donate at least $15 for it. So it is a year long. Is it a year long? I don't know. I think there's like 12 or 13 parts, but I have just recently started it, like maybe a couple of weeks ago. So I had to get caught up with, so this was like uh, the first release I don't know how they were released, but so far this is one, two, three, four, four releases so far. And today, April 1st, part five was released. So there's going to be a motif right here and right here. So I'm definitely going to get that done and finish up the last part right here. And uh, then the next part won't be released until May 1st. So I'm definitely going to work on that probably maybe even tonight and tomorrow and get that done. So that'll be the one project on the side. Once again, that's by the Fat Quarter Shop, and you can get that on the blog, and I will link it below in case you want to join. It's not too late because there's a lot of parts left, so not too late to join, and they're really quick, quick to stitch up. And then the last one, if you've been following my channel, you'll know that this one is the one that I'm going to continue working on. Um, my goal is to still do like one length of thread a day on this one. So I just kind of wanted to show you where I'm at to start the month with that. Get it here. Okay, let's, oop, let's move this out of the way. All right. So I have gotten the bridge done and I even backstitched the bridge last night and then I went down to find out where the bottom corner of this is and so that's the bottom corner right down there so I have this thread already loaded and ready to go and I'm going to do one string a day on that and that will be 30 strings by the time the month is done so I'm going to be probably focusing on just this bottom corner here this area so we'll see how much one string a day can get me on that. So those are the three things that I'm going to be focusing on. Now I don't I don't guarantee that I will 
stick with that plan 100% because you never know. Sometimes, you know, I get enticed by new starts or, you know, get burned out on something. Um, so we'll see. But that's the plan. So that's why I thought I would record this on April 1st. I would like to maybe try to check in a couple times between now and the end of the month, but I'm not going to promise that. Either way, I will definitely... Uh, You'll see this update either at the very end of April, well, probably May 1st, because I'm probably going to work on this up until the last midnight of the last day of April. So, okay, guys, let's uh, see how I go with it. We are still on our stay at home self or stay at home quarantine right now. So, as it looks, that's probably going to continue on through at least through the end of April. So. I'll have lots of time to stitch. So, okay. I'll check in with you soon when I have something good to show or something changes. It's April 30th, and I thought I would come in with my really quick update and show you what I got done this month. Um, <laughs> I can't remember, actually, if I had the April part of this done when I showed you at the beginning of this video because I forgot to review that video before I looked at this but I have since found out that they release a part of this Bloomtopia from the Fat Quarter Shop twice a month I believe so there actually has been I think on the 15th of April there was a, a release that goes right here and so I'm a little behind on that I need to get that stitched but I can't remember if I showed you this one that I did or not. So you may be just seeing a repeat of what I showed you in the earlier in this video. So I got that done. Um, and then I was going to do a string a day, basically, in my, let me make sure I'm in frame, in my, um, what is this called, balloon glow. Well, that didn't happen. Um, so what ended up happening is I would do a string and then and then I would go a few days and then I'd think, okay, I need to get caught up. So then I would spend a night and I'd do three strings or so. And I thought, okay, as long as I catch up to where at the end of the month I have 30, have had done 30 strings, then I'll be good. Well, it didn't work out that way <laughs> because I just, um, I, you know, it's hard for me to just pick up. I've found now that it is hard for me to spend pick up this project and just do a string a night because it's like once I've gotten set up to do this I may as well do more so um, I don't know I think I'm just going to make an effort to try to put in you know some stitches every week on this but I would have liked to have had all this green area done I should have brought the preview to show you but you just saw it so you probably remember but anyway there's kind of this green grassy hill area here and I wanted to have that done this month and I didn't but it is April 30th still and I have one more night of stitching so I will focus on this so there is a good chance that I will get all this green or make a good good uh, amount of progress on this green here so um, and I will continue working on that uh, you know what I, I you know tomorrow it starts stitch mania tomorrow's May 1st and starts stitch mania so I don't know I may not pick up this project if I do it's going to be very for a very little amount of time in May. Um, I don't know. I'm not going to say one way or another. This is kind of one of those things when I feel like working on it, I just pick it up and work on it because it's right on my frame. So, but what you are all wanting to know is how much did I get done on Sunlit Fox? Well, I can tell you I didn't get a finish, but I got all the leaves done. Yay! Yes, so I'm very excited about that. Let me make sure we're in frame. We are. Um, I started when I picked up this project, I had set out to do the leaves because I thought I definitely want to get those done and save the fox for last. Well, I started stitching on this at the beginning of the month and I just wasn't feeling it. I couldn't get into this project and I thought, oh boy, here I am, you know, I put it out there on the internet, on the YouTube internet that I was going to work on this for a month and then immediately I didn't feel like working on it when I started this. So I thought, okay, and then I can tell that I was starting to lose my stitchy bug and I was like trying to, you know, I was working on my paint by number and I thought, okay, well, I'll finish my painting and then maybe I'll get back to this. And you know how you make excuses when there's a project that you, you're just not feeling, but you know you need to be working on it. So anyway, I finished my paint by number and I thought, okay, I got to get some progress done on this fox. So I thought, okay, I'm just going to work on the fox then because instead of showing you guys no progress at all, I thought, well, maybe I'll get the fox done. So I went up here and had needed um, to fill in some areas right up here in his face and I thought yeah I'm just gonna work on that and then I was really loving that and I kind of got over here and I started feeling guilty thinking oh you know what 
I know me. I guess guilty is not really the right word. I was just starting to know myself and know that if I got this fox done and knew that all I had left to do when I picked this back up again are those leaves and if I felt the way about the leaves that I did here I thought I might not ever pick this project up so when I got over here I thought okay let me just pop over and maybe if I do some of this then I'll reward myself by working on some of the fox and then kind of go back and forth so I started working on this and then I don't know what happened Maybe it's because I was done with my painting. I, I don't know. Maybe I was becoming less stressed of this whole quarantine thing. I don't know. But I got myself into a groove with this project. And then I started really enjoying it. It might be due to the fact that I started binge watching uh, Little House on the Prairie. <laughs> because they have that on Prime now. You have to watch commercials. But I was really excited to see it. So I'm like already in season five. So this project will definitely remind me of, you know, spending time with the Ingalls family and in quarantine. Which is funny because some of the episodes there, they actually have one called Quarantine. And, you know, it's funny, their little version of their social distancing that they did back then. I love that show. Um, anyway, even though I've seen all the episodes many times, I've completely, I'm completely watching it all again. So, yes, Little House on the Prairie, Quarantine, all the good stuff in this very strange time in my life. This is has been keeping me through. I've just really, really enjoyed it, I have to say. And then I even did the backstitching in the leaves, and I just finished up the last bit of, a bit of backstitching this morning. So that is where I've ended up. Now, you can, as you can see, these are all half stitches here, so they went really quick, and it just really hasn't been difficult at all. And now when I pick this project up again, I will just get to fill in the rest of the fox and that'll go pretty quick too because there's like, I don't think there's even any blended threads. I mean, it'll go really quick. If Stitch Mania wasn't starting tomorrow, I have to say, I'd probably continue on with this one and just finish it. But it is Stitch Mania after all and I put it out there what my plans were for Mill Hill Mania. So I am going to do that. This one, I ironed it. I'm going to put it away and uh, I'm going to work on Balloon Glow tonight. And then tomorrow, starting May 1st, we're going to dive into my Mill Hill Mania. I already got all my threads sorted in all of my projects that I'm going to pick for that. If you haven't seen that video, you can pop back on the one before this, the one that's all about the Mill Hills, and that's when I show what I'm going to stitch. So I want to thank you all again for casting your votes, and I really, once I got in the groove with this project, I really enjoyed it. It was lots of fun. And I'm really happy that I got some progress done on it. I think I'm repeating myself, aren't I? Yes, it's because we're getting to that awkward place where I have to end. So <laughs> I'm just going to end it. Say goodbye. I'll be um, back for an update. I don't know what I'm going to do during Stitch Mania as far as what I'm going to update. If I'm going to just record and then show it all at the end of May. Or um, I probably won't do daily videos like I did last year. Um but you never know. You never know. I might pop in. I just haven't really made a plan with that or thought about how I'm going to do that. So um, I guess I'll just say that I'll see you when I see you, whenever that ends up being. So, all right. Thanks, guys, for watching. Thank you so much for all your comments. I appreciate it all. And I hope that you all, if you're doing Mania, that you have a successful one. If you're just watching, well, thank you for supporting all of us that are, that are doing it in some form or another. And I will see you next time I see you. <laughs> All right. Bye guys.